Good, Good morning, Seahome High school. school. This is Thomas. And Kudo. And Hoff. Bringing, bringing you your morning, morning announcements. announcements. Well, Mr. Hofstede, welcome to uh, welcome to our morning announcements. Thank you so much for coming on. Thanks for having me. It's a pleasure to be here. Thank you. Yeah, you have a very tranquil space where it looks like you are filming from. Yeah, this is my yoga studio out back. It's a bunch of concrete and a yoga mat. I teach my classes from this spot, and students in my classes can see more video of me out here teaching. So we got news from the governor and the state superintendent uh, sharing that all of our schools are actually the, gonna be closed for the rest of the year in regards to like our physical buildings. Now, obviously education isn't gonna stop. We're uh, gonna be continuing to do our distance learning. But Thomas, I'd, I'd love to know how, how did that, how did you react to that? What did that feel like? Oh, it, it was like taking a shot to the heart and telling you, Mr. Keto, I'm, I'm a little disappointed. I think that, yeah. I mean, we, got, we can always try and make the best of the situation, but this one, this one hurt. This one, uh, this one's, it's, it's a sad, sad day for me. Makes sense to, it's something to grieve, right? I mean, this is, this is a real loss and um, yeah, it's, it's not an easy process. So Make sure to be reaching out to your friends and <clears throat> lean on your, your family in the midst of this because a lot of things are uncertain and I think this is a piece that can be really difficult, especially for, for seniors as they're kind of looking at kind of next steps, but also wanting to close their senior year together. And so we'll have to be creative in what that looks like. Yeah. yeah. Sorry, man. Alrighty. There's a silver lining though, silver lining I gotta point out. Amidst this really brutal time, this pandemic, if you look at the world, how much we were polluting it before this pandemic. And look what's happened now. If you look at China, for example, it was a black massive cloud over the country. It's gone to bluish white, gray. It's, it's, it's changing the world. Pollution levels are really coming down big down the oceans. There's dolphins swimming in rivers now. It's quite crazy. So it's that's one good thing about it. We miss everyone, you know, miss you guys. But uh, man, the world's getting healthier, you know? So it's a good thing. I like that. Thanks. We have one student birthday. We have Noah Watson. Happy birthday, Noah. Staff member, the champion of child care, brought to you by the Detroit Lions. Good night. Good shoot. Woo! Wow, that was fantastic. Winner. Uh, we also have uh, Lisa McNally. Uh, happy birthday as well. Uh, way to go. Uh, enjoy your guys' day. Uh, Thomas, what's going on with our uh, Sea Home Challenge this week? So this week for our Sea Home Challenge, it's Minute to Win It. So just like how we had on our live stream, we will have Minute to Win It challenges. So make sure you stay tuned. Check out our Instagram, Sea Home High School, Sea Home HS. See if you can win <laughs> to win it uh, challenge. Should we get into some yoga? So the great thing about yoga, guys, and this time is pretty stressful being boxed up in your house and stuff. Yoga has really been proven to relieve a lot of stress, to cleanse the mind, reduce anxiety. There's something about getting in touch with yourself, getting grounded, getting connected to yourself, the yoga process, breathing and focusing on your body that really just cleanses the, cleans the mind like something else. Really cool. So we hope we get some of that done right now with you guys, okay? Great. A few poses. So come on back. If you don't want to stand up, show manners. Mountain pose. I'm going to turn this way so you see my profile. Shoulders back, take a few breaths in the nose, up the mouth. And as you exhale, let go of any tension. Visualize stress leaving your mind and body. Your breath in brings good energy. Now bring our hands together, lift our arms up above our head, biceps along the ears, reach high, reach high, mariners. Breathe in. And exhale down into earth touch. Keep your legs straight, just bend at the waist, drop down, let gravity take your upper body downward, relax your neck. And touch the ground, that's awesome. That's a three out of four. Put your palms down, it's a four out of four. Just the best you personally can. Relaxing, go back of legs, stretching. Now we're gonna show you the healthiest yoga pose in the world, known as downward facing dog. Walk your hands out in front, shoulder width, Feet back behind, chill the width. Now push up your hands, flex your trunk, bend the waist, bring the chin past 
the arms, the ears past the arms, tuck the chin to chest, drop the heels, and form what looks like an upside down letter V. Right now you're strengthening arms and legs as well as developing flexibility in the back of the legs, lowering your blood pressure, reducing stress, very calming, very cleansing. Breathing, one more breath. And now, if you're up for it, do a Navy SEAL push-up. Bend only your elbows, catch your weight slowly, or just come down to the table. Right off the ground, no modified push-up. Arch the spine, upward dog. Drop the knees, come back down to the table. Now we're gonna get a really, really good pose, really proactive pose, prevents injury to the back, known as cat pose. When you do this, here, around your back, make sure your arms are vertical, your hands are right below your shoulders, knees are right below your hips, thighs are vertical. Around the back, tuck your chin, take a big breath in and hold it. I come back into extended child, good work. This is a surrender pose, relaxing pose. Just drop your forehead down, hang out. Just slow down the world. Allow yourself to relax for a few breaths. Now we're gonna do a cobra roll. Cobra, really good for connecting you to yourself, getting you grounded. We're going to shift our body weight forward from our knees to our elbows, moving slowly, smoothly, low to the ground, chin within two inches of the ground. Hands catch that body weight, chin goes past fingertips. Modified push-up coming up slowly, smoothly, building strength, arching spine, extend your arms, lift your chin, chest, contract the back while the front stretches. Nail that cobra. Upward dog, pop your legs up. Now working strength, still curving the back, stretching the front while you work the shoulders, strengthening. More breath, back down the table, back on the table, final pose. We're going to cat, around the back, big breath in. Stretch out that back, make sure you're fortifying that back, preventing injury to that back, make your back invincible. And I actually just lied, we got one more pose. And turn to the front. This is a pose from 1962 yoga, a handbook of yoga, 1962, true story. It's called Lion Pose, in honor, in honor of my Detroit Lions, ready? Okay, gets the stress out too. Bring your arms back, bring your talons back, your lion talons, back by your armpits, make your fists. We'll do it in slow motion. I'm gonna extend my arms out the front, spread my talons. House, stick my tongue out and be like, ah. Okay. <laughs> on three. Here we go. Everyone get the stress out. Get the lead out. Here we go. On three. Lion pose. 1962 yoga. Going back a few decades. Here we go. Breathe in. Two, three. Ah. Ah. Oh my gosh. I am relaxed now. Nice. Thank you, Mr. <laughs> Offset. Really You're welcome. That. Thanks for the opportunity. That was fun. It's nice to teach again. I'm pumping out videos from my yoga classes right now. They're accessing through Teams. I got one today, and I want to upload them to some content, some kind of connection where all the all the students and staff can access them if they want. They'll run between 25 and 28 minutes. Um, they'll be strength, flexibility focused, usually stamina focused, flexibility so anywhere between five and eight breaths. Holding some poses longer, some poses a little shorter. But uh, standard yoga, CLM yoga. Yeah, so we're going to have those available for you guys. Again, yoga is a great way to reduce stress, guys. Really good. It opens you up. Makes you feel good. Your body moves smoothly, fluidly. Your mind thinks clear. It's, it's a phenomenal thing. This has been Kudo. And Thomas. And off. Have a good have a great day. Home. Home. Have an awesome day, guys. Take care. Hey. Hey, James. Way to pop in. That's fun. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's hard. <laughs> it's a bummer. I know. It's a bummer, Mr. Kudo. I know. We should have Hofstede do birthdays all the time. I'm pretty sure. I agree. <laughs>